Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another DP Tubs bathtub repair video. So today's video, you guys, this one is a little different. This is one where I'm not gonna be reglazing the entire tub. I've actually been out to this house the other day, gave them an estimate and they, it's an apartment owner. They just wanna do the bare minimum. They've got some rent renters and you guys, this tub is nasty. I'm gonna repair, there's some scratches and cracks at the bottom. They wanna do minimum, I'm just gonna be repairing and spraying the bottom of the tub just to prevent prevent any type of leakage. Uh, but I'm also gonna clean it up a little bit. You guys, this tub is in such bad shape that I am surprised. I even told them, they're like, give me a price to do the whole thing. And I was like, you know what? If I do the whole thing, you're gonna spend this much money and I get guarantee you in a couple months, it's gonna look exactly the same as it does now. They're just not gonna care for it. So I am gonna go in here, do the best I can. First things first, I'm gonna clean this tub with just a scrubbing pad and water, and I'm gonna see how much of a difference it makes just from cleaning it with water. Not even soap, anything like that. And then I'll get into sanding and all the process, um, but let's go in and check this out. All right, here's the tub. Right here. I'm only gonna be working on the bottom here, but I'm actually gonna clean up this whole area right there. some scratches here scratches here there's an old coating it's been previously coated so to start off as I said I'm just gonna be using water and a scotch bright pad just to see how clean I can get it without even any soap just to show a lot of it is just a simple lack of cleaning and care soil the area let the dirt get loosened a little bit and you'll see how it just starts to come off doing this allows me to see where the real damage is a lot of it can be disguised behind dirt and soap scum looking much better just from water you guys scrubbing pad and water not even soap or a cleaner anything like that make sure to clean your tubs regularly I got it all cleaned up now I'm gonna wipe it down I'm gonna dry it and you guys are gonna see how much just the water and a little bit of elbow grease cleaned up this tub. There you go, just cleaned with water and a scrubbing pad. Much better. There's some chips around the drain. We've got a scratch going down here, scratch here, scratch here, real minor. Almost like a pet was in here bathing and scratched it. Nothing all the way through. So just gonna sand it all down and then, and then spray the finished coat.
I'm going to take a glazing spot putty and skim the areas. The scratches are not too deep. So I'm going to use this skimming putty, glazing putty, to fill in those areas, let it dry, sand it down, and then I'll get ready to finish off the bottom. So there you go. I've got the skim putty. It literally looks like blood, but it's so thin and such a light glaze that it's easy to sand. It literally just fills the scratches. So you can barely see there's some little minor ones, very minor, right there. We're going to sand it down. There we go, all freshened up, everything cleaned up, see reflection, much better. So I'm all wrapped up, that tub was pretty nasty. Hopefully it looked a lot better. Actually, they approved, they liked it. Um, as I mentioned before, I did kind of the minimum on it because it was a rental property and the owner didn't want to spend as much. So we just did what needed to be done. It looks a lot better. Comment down below, let me know if there's anything that you're interested in me doing regarding to, regarding uh, reglazing, bathtub sinks, countertops, anything like that. Do you want a list of tools that are needed? Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks again, you guys. And thanks for watching DP Tubs. Thank you.